Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial number six. On this tutorial, we're going to add stairs and railings to our structure. Uh, to do that, first of all, we're going to create a bunch of new, <laughs> new um, layers. I have already created mine. Here is a, I created one called stairs and I made the color green and railings and made the color yellow. So you guys already know, just click on this button here and type in your name, choose your color, and then get out of this layer properties window. Again, layer properties can be uh, accessed from the ribbon structure and under the palette layer and drop down box, oh sorry, and the layer properties button there. And we are make, gonna make sure that the stairs is our most current um, layer that we have chosen. So do this, um, first we need a line. Are we going to build our stair just around here? So it goes from this platform onto the ground. Uh, to do that, we're gonna need to draw some extra lines so we can exactly position our, our, our stair and how far away from the structure does it need to be and whatnot. Um, mostly that's going to depend on the engineer, structural engineer or uh, the safety regulation of the country or the work site that you're working in. And whatever so first thing we're going to do we're going to hide everything except for a grid so I have just selected my grid and under the structure ribbon under visibility palette I'm going to choose hide other so it's going to hide everything but our grid okay we're going to offset the grid a bit so we can see all the points okay so now what we're going to do is draw a line so just start typing L I N oh look at that that's your first choice and now uh, when you're in this mode usually the lines that you draw if you select a point it's gonna draw on on the plane that you're on so right now we are on XY plane so it's gonna draw on the XY plane so go ahead and just draw that it's gonna from that corner to that corner and press escape to get out now here is a very interesting thing now how do you select just the line but not the grid in the way well you can easily um, in this case you can go into your layer palette and under grid because remember everything else is already hidden this little uh, light bulb here will turn off your little uh, layer so you won't be able to see so if you zoom in there only thing we should be able to see is our line well, it's green and, 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 and the Y axis is green, but you can see I could select it. So you could do that way and or sometimes I find this also pretty easy. What you do is just select everything around there with the green window and then hold and shift and click on the object that you don't want. Now this works perfect if you just have two or three objects. Sometimes you would have 40 or 50 and you don't want to shift click all the ones that you don't want. That's just not fun. Okay, so once we have selected that uh, line we have just drawn, uh, so let's start typing move. M-O-V-E, so you see it pops up, click on move. It's gonna ask you to specify the base point. I'm gonna specify my base point as that point and then as you can see, I can drag it it's as long as you stay kind of within that uh, within within the Z uh, Z uh, position of the point you're moving it's gonna stay on the same plane uh, so let's make it I don't know um, two meters away two meters two meters sounds good uh, let's do it around two meters so just start typing two meters 2000 and press enter voila uh, that's where your point is going to be and that's it now let's add our our stairs okay so we are already on the stairs layer go ahead and click on stairs under structure ribbon and parts palette click on stairs let's click on settings Okay, so here um, I'm gonna leave it as is because I nobody have given me gave me this uh, specification what to exactly choose. So here uh, stair width, as you can see, uh, it's corresponding number. Stair width is one. 
it shows you which one is showing okay 800 fine that, that that's good um, if, if you want you can make it a thousand sure why not we want a bigger one maximum uh, thread distance is uh, let's make it I don't know 200 see what happens uh, probably not the best but uh, let's let's just keep it like that and now you can change a lot of things here so if you were to okay I'll show you again under step data there's a little box there uh, go ahead and click that and then you see all the standards show up so under DIN standard there's a uh, lots of different steps you can use lots of different ones so um, choose whichever ones you want uh, I'm gonna actually switch this back to 250 just because that's what it was originally and the u-shape u-shape means this uh, channel over here on the sides that holds your that your um, steps are actually welded or bolted to um, and then you can also choose which one you want to choose let's first say you have already been specified by a structural engineer so in that case you can choose the one he specified um, just cancel and get out of that so we're gonna keep it as is just change the width to a thousand why not and click OK now it's gonna ask you to specify the first point of stair so uh, here is a very handy dandy trick so if you hold control and right click it uh, AutoCAD will let you choose a very specific snap-on point so I'm going to choose here midpoint even though my midpoint is turned on I'm just going to choose it so you guys can see it so I can only select midpoint not endpoints nothing else with every object I can only select midpoint so on my outside one outside outside line I'm going to choose the midpoint of that line and then I'm going to choose the midpoint of my uh, the second bit of a grid there as you can see uh, click on that and press escape to get out oh I guess I canceled that okay we'll go through that again quickly okay so uh, let's check the settings are the same settings are the same cool so we're gonna control right click choose midpoint choose the midpoint there and then you can again control right click and choose the midpoint you can choose the midpoint there and press enter bam that looks really ugly but you guys get the point so uh, we're gonna keep it at that now actually this is a good point it does look pretty ugly you can switch that and you can change that uh, if you select your stairs you see there is a, a little grip point there you can drag it and kind of make it shorter because it looks so ugly you just need one stairs there perfect that looks a lot better but uh, if you already knew the distance your stairs needed to be you could use the line to do that perfectly but you're gonna need the line anyway because you need to choose a midpoint or at least a point that your um, your stair would snap onto at the beginning so there you go so go ahead and just delete that line there I think it should work there we go that's it let's sh show all so we can have a look perfect so there we go and the as you can see here um, you can kind of see that our uh, the channels of our stairs kind of protrude through the ground and so we have to trim that at some point we will do that but first of all we're going to add railings because um, to trim something we have to explode by explode by meaning right now uh, our stair is one object once we explode it they're still going to be just like they are right now but each of those objects are going to be individually selectable so first of all we're gonna put some railings on okay so uh, let's go back to the layers and choose railings perfect now we're gonna put railing on our stair there and uh, almost all the way around at the top platform okay let's get started so click on railings and the first thing we're gonna do is gonna ask you to uh, specify the starting point and instead of that we're gonna go to the command line and click object and this is a very handy little tool so just click on the object in this case our stairs and bam how easy was that look at that I'm gonna skip to get out now we have railings for our little thing and that is pretty easy 
Okay, now we're going to go back to our line model so we can add our railings at top. So go ahead and click railing again. Now we're not going to click object, we're just going to choose different points and pretty much draw a polyline and as we go uh, the system will keep on drawing the railings so we're gonna start at this point we're gonna go to there and all the way to that end all the way to that end and all the way to this end and press enter to get out we're gonna clip keep this open because we're going to add a ladder there so that's pretty much it and let's take a look see how it looks Okay, so currently that's uh, we have our railing. That actually looks pretty cool. One thing I'm not sure. Oh, okay, it just looks gray. It's not actually gray because of the lines. Okay, so and anytime something is not showing up right on your model space, all you could do is start start typing V gen and then choose regen all sometimes it'll fix the problem sometimes it might not okay so let's go ahead and trim our little uh the c shape or the j shape however it's called here here okay so first thing we're going to do we're going to hide everything else except for our little channel so we're gonna select the stairs and go hide others ah now it's nice. Now we, you can kind of see where, where, where the ground comes in, where the, the kind of the grid comes in there. Okay, so what we're going to do first, let's select it. Make sure that you actually draw your um, railings before you do this because we're going to explode our little um, stair right now. And now it has been exploded. Ah, oh, there is a bit of a problem there. Um, let's undo that because once you explode it, uh, it takes all the objects and puts it into your current layer so it by mistake put it on the railing layer so let's choose stairs and then let's choose our stairs again and explode perfect now it's on the right layer okay so we're going to use our uh, cut member no gonna use trim member here so that's under structure ribbon and cutting palette select trim member and we're gonna use X Y W S C okay so go ahead and press OK we're gonna choose that then it's going to ask us which members do we want to trim so make sure you choose uh, select this little J shapes here but make sure you don't you don't select it around there I'll show you what happens if you select it oh no this time it worked never mind this works okay so now you can see it looks pretty nice there and we're going to show everything and that's pretty much it for this tutorial so we have added stairs railings and it's actually pretty easy okay awesome see you guys next time